All right. So today we are gonna import a VDB shockwave in Houdini into Unreal Engine. Yep, so let's just get started. So I've already done the whole process, so I'm just gonna go over the whole process. So what you gotta do is you drop um, your geometry, and this is a torus, and you just add a mountain node. I just added a mountain node to deform the shape because I didn't want it to be um, in a perfect shape. I wanted to get some kind of deformations and I dropped the point VUP so when I dive into the point VUP I use the point VUP for velocity alright so I connected the position to a multiply node here and a constant and I made the constant a vector alright with um, 3 on the X 3 on the Y and 3 on the Z and I connected them so actually is the position connecting to so this one the position connecting to um, the velocity here all right okay so it's just a simple setup and I added a pyro source and for the attributes I added just density and velocity so we will add a volume rasterized attribute to input of density and velocity as the attributes. And we will just drop our Pyro Solver. And in the Pyro Solver, um, it's just a simple setup, just um, the voxel size 0.1. But actually, the main um, VDB I, I exported was 0.05 and for the sourcing so at, at normal circumstance the sourcing you get around five number of sources you get um density velocity temperature fuel burn yeah so i just deleted them and i just i was left with these um, two sources that's density and velocity and for the shape you you just got to play with the shape and get your desired um, um, shape that you you are going for all right so and you have to convert it into VDB because when you just do this and eliminate the VDB and so this is a rough geometry and that I'm using it to cache um, to save my cache data the VDB data so and what you gotta do is at the end of your um, naming convention you have to add VDB alright so when you eliminate this VDB node convert to VDB node when you eliminate this node it won't work when you import your VDB and when you will eliminate this node and you just use this um, wrap node to import your VDB it won't work in Houdini I'm sorry in Unreal Engine so you have to drop this convert VDB node and set it to VDB and set your attributes the group you set your attribute so density vel, vel, vel x vel y vel z and you just add it to your hierarchy and you save so let me just play um, so we have it this is it and let me just play it so yeah yeah this is the shockwave it's cool okay so let's dive into unreal engine and we'll just create a new project I'll call it shockwave 2 and you have to accept ray tracing take ray tracing okay cuz it won't work okay we are in Unreal Engine and I'll delete the BP Sky and I'll delete these meshes I'll delete and I will make sure my light source movable skylight movable 
um, real time capturing uh, and I'll make exposure to manual so I'll just create a new folder and I'll call it shock so this is where I will import my VDB files now before you do this you have to go to settings plugin and you search for VDB now you may not have this plugin because this is where the magic happens you have to download and install this plugin so you have to click the link in the description of the video right now and you can get this plugin so all that you gotta do is I have opened the plugin um, the website uh, is github yeah github website and uh, and the creator is his name is Lambert yeah his name is Lambert hey guy Lambert thank you for this plugin because this plugin is amazing okay so you just have to um, just click regular user just click on the releases and you will yeah you just see the plugin and you just download the plugin okay you just yeah you just click on if you have the new update 5.0.3 you just click on it and yeah you just download you just download it okay so when you are done downloading it I mean when you are done downloading it you have to go to where you you have to extract it okay you have to extract um, the plugin after you extract you have to search for where you installed your unreal engine plugin mostly it will be on your local disk but me is on my um, normal drive so in unreal engine you go to engine and you go to plugins and you extract it here okay yeah and you open a real engine and same as the plugins and you accept you you take that um, dialog here and you have to restart now for um, new users if um, when you do this it will take um, a lot of time to restart your unreal engine okay okay so we are done with the restart so now I will so I will, I will bring in my sequence okay the VDB sequence and quantization if you really have um, a big um, VDB size then you really need to put it around select F, FP8 or FP4 yeah so I'll choose um, let's do FP16 okay and you have if it's, it's a sequence you have to click sequence okay make it true sequence and you see we have uh, density vel x vel y vel z so let's just click import and it's gonna take some time so I'm gonna skip the video okay all right so we are done importing our VDB and I will just drag it into the scene like this and for the scale I will make the scale like 100 and here we have it and I'll just rotate it on 90 degrees and I'll press J to delete those widgets and yeah so first let, let me just get um, add the level sequencer and I'll just drop in the shock wave in here and I'll go to track and VDB sequence I'll just click VDB sequence and I'll move this here okay so let's just play the VDB sequence okay there we have it all right that's our VDB sequence so you can just um, play with uh, let's see you can just play with 
and the attributes and the shading so maybe I want to boost my albedo to one and so let, let me show you something when you dive inside you'll see like it's I don't know how to call it it's kind of like a point cloud am I right but you see the the pic I mean the pixels the pixels are really low so you just come in here sample pixels and maybe do something like 50 okay so we the pic that 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 problem is gone all right so we can dive back here and I'll just play again okay and we have something right yeah so yeah this was it it's running in real time and you have your shock wave mm, nice one all right anyways okay so guys don't forget to subscribe just click on the notification bell for any update and if you like this video just like um, hit the like button and peace i love y'all i'm out